In this clip, we will look at the essential terminology for kinematics. We'll finally look at the difference between speed and velocity, and we'll learn about distance and displacement, and then scalars and vectors, and another word, magnitude. And we'll begin by putting it all into the context of a little story. Let's suppose that you live on one side of a lake. And your granny lives on the other. You live here, she lives there. You decide you're going to visit your granny. So you get in your car and you take the trip. There's stops, there's lunch, there's construction. But the whole distance is 150 kilometers and it takes you three hours. So you know that your speed very simply can be calculated. It's 150 kilometers divided by the three hours. Your speed, average speed for that entire little trip was 50 kilometers per hour. Well, you've arrived, so you walk up to Granny's door and you knock. She's not here. Granny's not there. You've wasted all that time. So you get back in your car, you drive all the way home. Oh, and then you note that the trip home was 150 kilometers, three hours. Your total distance that you took was 300 kilometers, six hours. Your average speed was still 50 kilometers per hour. Now for something very different. Let's suppose that Granny lives directly across the lake from me. In fact, if I could draw a line that would show where I live and where she lives. It's the shortest distance between us, where I started and where I ended up. In fact, it's 45 kilometers due east, and that is called the displacement. Now, uh, I need to have a direction east. She's not north of me, not south. She's due east with 45 kilometers. And the way of looking at this, it tells me where she is located from my starting point. It tells me how my position changed. It's the shortest distance between us by that line that it is an arrow. It's called a displacement. Now, the time for me to arrive at Granny's is three hours, and the displacement over the time is called velocity. Remember, the speed, average speed, is called distance over time. The average velocity is the total displacement over the time. It's different from the speed. Therefore, the velocity will be calculated as the displacement 45 kilometers east divided by the total time it took me to begin my journey and end up at that point, and my displacement, the velocity 15 kilometers per hour east. And that's a different number than the speed. Now, this is very different. Let's suppose I do the return trip home. I go all the way back, and that means that my displacement now, where I started and where I ended up, what's the displacement? Zero. And that means that my velocity displacement over time also is zero. Hmm. 